This W switch energizes my electromagnet down here. This electromagnet closes the switch up here. So when I close this switch, this becomes a load electromagnet. We do work and go home. Then that closes this high voltage switch, which passes power for the light bulb to come on. So this contactor is essentially a heavy duty relay. Low voltage work controls a high voltage switch. So a trivia question is, what component is a load and also a switch? And the answer is a contactor. This particular contactor has a shield on it. If I take this cover off, we see that there's two separate switches. In this case, we're only using one side of the switch. The high voltage side, power comes in, power comes out. A separate switch, power comes in, power comes out. It's two separate switches. But if I take this completely apart, this is my high voltage switch. This down here is my low voltage load. This is my electromagnet. So on a ladder diagram, it's drawn as two separate components because really and truly it is two separate components. Down here is a power consuming device, low voltage, 24 volts. And up here is a power passing device, sending that power onto a light bulb. Internally, they're not touching each other. This electromagnet pulls against the spring, pulling these points down. The wire is never touched. Same component, but they don't touch. So they're drawn separately, even though it's the same component because wiring wise, they are two separate components. So to show you how this works, I'm gonna remove these wires and I'm gonna hook it up to this electromagnet of the one we took apart. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but it's an electromagnet vibrating. I'm gonna put this uh, wire strippers up here against it. And that electromagnet is holding these wire strippers. When I de-energize the R and W switch of my thermostat, it falls down. It's no longer a load. When I open this switch, we no longer have a load. Now this load would no longer pull this in and our light bulb or our heater in this case, what we're representing would shut off. So low voltage controls high voltage switches. So we're going to put this back over here. Not all contactors are 24 volts. For residential, they are. For commercial, they are not. So you have to read on there to make sure it's the right voltage. I have to make sure that only low voltage goes to this side. If I try to put high voltage here, even by accident, because people make mistakes, but on accident, if we put high voltage on the side of this, we're going to have a problem because this is designed for a 24 volt difference. So I'm going to show you what happens when we install this and we uh, hook this up with high voltage. So I'm going to take my line one and line two. We'll take it off of our transformer here. And I'm going to put 120 volts and connect it to this 24 volt transformer. Uh, sorry, contactor. So I'm going to power this up and you'll see that it will pull the switch in. But let's see what happens after it does that. Okay, we have an electromagnet. Electromagnet's working, although we start to see a little bit of smoke. That's what we call the factory smoke. Once the factory smoke comes out, you can't get it back in. And if we wait, yep, we end up with a nice little fire. Rapid oxidation. So if you were to install this incorrectly and just simply forgot, you end up with a fire. Now that fire could uh, burn down a customer's house and it has happened in the past. Think about everything you have in your house. Think about uh, all the pictures that you have, your pets, relatives, losing every single thing you have. And imagine a guy coming out, well, I just mixed up two wires. It's no big deal. I did all the rest of them right. It's got to be 100% right. These wires that run down the wall, they can also become heat elements. These wires here can actually set a thermostat on fire. Uh, I've seen it before. So you want to make sure that you follow the schematic. Don't be afraid of electricity, but you certainly need to have respect for it all the time. And practice is how you get good at that. So this is just one example.